And I got a cracker for the palette cleanser. I really don't have grip strength. All right, so we'll do the red next. This will be easier to read if I empty the bubble first. So this one is a tantalizing fusion of fresh watermelon and strawberry. We will see what this tastes like. It smells like watermelon flavor, so we'll see. It tastes kind of like a Jolly Rancher. It's been a long time since I've had a Jolly Rancher. It tastes like a Jolly Rancher. I don't know what flavor of Jolly Rancher. Um, I like this one better than the pink. Um, so that's nice. I don't know if that's one of those psychology of color things. Uh, where we are primed to to like things that are that that deep red color uh, But this is it, it tastes sweeter. It has less of the chemical flavor uh, It does taste more like a Jolly Rancher. So it's it's that much sweeter if that helps explain some of that uh, I think this would be Pretty good definitely with with a sparkling water if you want to tone down some of that sweetness So if you don't like the really heavy uh, syrupy sweet drinks, I would say that this one is more of that uh, so you, you would want to mix this with with a sparkling beverage um, that could definitely be more hydrating and refreshing during the summer. Um, mixed with some vodka. You could probably make a pretty good like, strawberries and cream type thing with this if you mix some if you mix some cream with this. Hmm. That could be pretty good. That holds up. That holds up pretty well. I like. I definitely like this part in the pink one. This one is also 17%. I didn't tell you that already. Alright. We are going to get to the palette cleanser. And then we are going to switch to the blue. All right, so this is a cool blue fusion of wild berries and mango. So we are back with the mango, and I will see if I can see if this tastes similar to the, the pink at all. See if I can pick out that mango uh, and see if I can get some of those berries. I guess I should show you. I'm actually pouring this. All right, so we got that cool blue. And it's supposed to be berries and mango. Oh. It. You know how blue things smell? This smells like a blue thing. Oh. Um. For when I smelled it, it smelled like, um. The, the airheads, those blue airheads, the, you know, the, the strip and it's the sugar and you eat it and it smells like that. I really don't want to taste this again. Let me try another palate cleanser first because that was not delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. It smells, it smells like airheads. It smells good. Oh. Um, I, I don't know if it was a mistake trying three in a row. But, um, this tastes terrible. <laughs> like, it tastes bitter. It doesn't taste very sweet. 
and it I, it should. It smells really sweet. It just tastes bad. I don't know. Um, I will be finishing that. That is that is another seventeen percent. Uh, it's not delicious. I maybe that's the berries. I don't really taste mango in that either. I don't recommend one star. Uh, I would I would do the red. I'm not a fan of the pink. So far, my favorite of the the kinky beverages is the one that I tried the other day, which was that fruit punch. Uh, that one I would I would drink again. That one I might actually get a big bottle of. I mean, if I were to try the the kinky. Uh, yeah, or that red, the watermelon and strawberry. That one was good. I I would not get the blue. You'll have to tell me if you if you like the blue. Like if was I wrong? Is should I have tried it first? Is is that what went wrong? Like somebody used to tell me. I only have the one bottle. Perhaps I should give you a background. Why do I have all of these tiny little bottles of liquor? Although I'm sure you guys are all very non-judgmental. I've heard that internet people are very non-judgmental. Uh, so, background. The reason I have all these tiny little bottles of alcohol is because I recently had a birthday. And it was a milestone birthday. And my friends are wonderful, loving people who want to expand my horizons. And I have perhaps been very sheltered as a person and I just don't get out much. As you can see, this is what I do. I read, I've got these books and there's more throughout the house. Uh, so this is what I do with my time. We have a great library system here. It's fantastic. I love it. Uh, but what I don't go do is, is drink. And so they thought it might be really nice for me to try some different drinks. Uh, so they bought me all, like I have, I have a bunch of these, like a lot. I'm not going to tell you how many because, right. Uh, but we're going to, we're going to review them. I guess you could count. Uh, please don't, don't count. Um, I might throw, well, no, anyway. Don't count. Uh, so yeah, that's that's how I got these. So I don't normally drink this. That's part of the reason we're limiting it to three because usually we limit it to one. So I know how I respond to that and we're gonna see how I respond to two and a half. This might be a mistake. This was 17%, I mentioned that, yeah. Anyway, uh, so that's the background. That's why I have all these mini bottles and why you get the uh, the taste test knowledge that I'm gaining from from trying this. Um, I guess I should also tell you uh, the things that I know that I do like, which is limited, admittedly. Uh, but I did spend some time living in Italy, and I really enjoy Aperol Spritz. Those are my absolute favorite drink. I like Aperol Spritz. I like old fashions. Yep, that's where we're at. So hopefully you guys will find these videos useful and semi-entertaining and we will get to meet all the nice internet people who are super non-judgmental. Thank you and have a great day.